we won't be able to answer red alerts um what you call it in midair his call oh he didn't actually call us normally he calls us as we glide over the lake oh dear that was close all right so it looks like we got some shield arms I should have used the stealth minicon I don't think they've noticed us. Okay, yes they have. Okay, the medium units have. We're not really going to fight anybody unless they get in our way. Okay. I'm going to... Power links. Power link. I don't know the proper term. It has an X in it. The word has an X. Oh, I fell off the edge. Okay, we can get to it. It's just the Datacon. Okay. And down this way, where I believe there is another group of uh, medium units and a commander unit. Oh, I fell off. Okay, not good. Oh, I can't get up. There we go. Ooh, ooh, I like this guy. Um, this is Aurora. And what Aurora does is when you hit an enemy, it tracks that enemy so you don't necessarily have to be pointing. As long as you hit him, it'll stick to him. It'll even go around corners. Um, and I think it sticks to two people at once. Um, that might sound like a weird description, but I'll show you what I mean. Alright. So as you can see, it's stuck to him. No matter where I go, I can go around this rock. It'll go around corners to get him. And uh, you can capture up to two enemies in its beam, I think. So it's nice because you know that you're taking care of one of them as you're attacking the rest of them too. So I could take this guy out with Slapshot, knowing that my blaster is getting the commander unit. Oh wow behind me too. I don't know that. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite blasters in the game. I say one of because later you get um, basically this guy's older brother. It's basically Aurora on steroids. And you could capture up to three people in its beam. It's nice. And they're probably gonna die, I think. Or not. Oh, was that all of them? How nice. Oh, uh, no, there's one more. Where is he? Right there. Okay, now he's dead. Alright. So, I'm gonna head back up to that rock that the commander unit was standing on. And, uh... Oh, oh, no, I'm gonna haul off the edge. Bad... Oh, maybe I can make it, still. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Survived all of that just to be killed by water. Alright, so this time... We're gonna glide back to that mountain, but we're gonna go behind it. Oh, I thought I killed you. Why are you still alive? Well, that sucks. Yeah, we're gonna glide back to that mountain, go behind it, and get the minicon that's back there.
Oh, he got my foot. And he got me again. Ragdoll physics for the win. Oh, just as he was lunging. All right. I know this is a bit tedious for you guys. Um, like, we've gone practically nowhere in the Alaska map so far. I've just been collecting minicons. But we need to collect the minicons. Um, because if we don't collect all of them, basically you need all 40 to unlock the final level. Until you collect all 40, you won't be able to do the last level, and I don't really want to backtrack and get them. I want to be able to get them when I can. So I know it may be a little tedious watching me just do some minicon collection um, here in Alaska, but it will not be that way for long. Oh! Got me. Good shot, Spider Tank. And I hardly took any damage. That's kind of cool. Waypoint reached, Commander. Stay alert. The terrain in this area is perfect for an enemy ambush. Keep moving towards that canyon. Alright, well, I'm going to make my way for that checkpoint. Did you get that? That, um... Warp gate up there, just so I can save. And then we'll go behind the mountain, if we can make it. Understood. Alright. Ow. Yeah, this is not the route I normally take. Normally, I glide from that rock I was on to about up there-ish, and then I sneak up from behind and take them all out because they're not expecting me. But since I got shot down, that didn't exactly happen. And I'm about to die. Okay, there's two shield arms. You'll finally be able to see what exactly they do. If I'm lucky, I'll take this guy out. I think he drops four Energon. Yep. Alright, here's what they do. They shoot crazy fast and they deal a lot of damage but they're really easy to take out so that's you know I guess that's one of the upsides of fighting them and there's two more guarding the warp gate up here hang on I'll answer it Point reached, Commander. The enemy is using these canyons as transport corridors to link their defense perimeter to the base. Follow the canyon, but watch for switchbacks and ravines. Yeah, the um, canyons up copy? there are an extreme pain because it's basically like a maze. Fortunately, I'm I've played it. it long enough to, or enough times to know exactly where to go um, with the least amount of enemies. Um, so I'll do that. And I'll give you guys little tips if you have this game or are planning on buying this game of how to get through here as efficiently as possible. Um, but for now, we're going to save and see if we can't get back behind those mountains and uh, get ourselves a minicon. I don't think there's very many enemies out here, which is good. I generally don't take this route, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but... Okay, where? Oh! Apparently I was wrong. Just one of them, though. The minicon we're going after is guarded by two of them. And you will need Slipstream to get to it. Okay, we'll have to take this guy out too.
Easy enough. All right. So basically, we're going to go right up to this ledge right here. You can really actually any point along the top of these mountains, pretty much. Um, but you want to get up to the, you want to get up high, and you want to get up to the edge of where the mountains start sloping downwards, and then jump off and glide. And then you want to bank left, and there's a minicon right there. Of course, we're not going to glide up to it because we can't, but we can follow um, this mountain slope upwards and get to them. So, one. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. This might be a little harder than I thought. Oh, or maybe not. We already got two of them. All right, and dead. So yeah, shield arms, not that hard to take out, but they pack quite a punch if you let them. Fortunately, you have time to react because usually they're in ball mode and they have to transform out of ball mode and start shooting at you. So you have time to get your shield up if you have one. And it's only a datacon, crap. And at this point, just for the sake of time, I'm going to dive bomb into the ocean and get back to my uh, checkpoint. There's nothing really out here that much, except for a mountain. Wow, this is really deep. 